the little bear that could. Once upon a time, a small and lovable bear lived on the moon. The moon goddess called him Little Bear and loved him very much. Little Bear and his 12 animal friends lived in a shining white castle and they were all very happy. The goddess said to him, Little Bear, you can play anywhere you want with anything you like, but promise me you will never, ever touch these moonstones. I promise, was Little Bear's cheerful reply. But one day when the goddess was away, Ying Yang the cat came up to Little Bear. Meow, goodness, the goddess certainly thinks you are very special. Uh-huh, said Little Bear. I just love her to pieces, and she loves me right back. Ahem, sputtered Ying Yang as he cleared a hairball from his throat. Does she now? Then why won't she permit you to touch the moon stones? Love shouldn't have any rules. With the moon stones, you could be just as wise as her. You could live forever, just the same as she does. One of the two moonstones was white and beautiful and brimmed with eternal life. The other was black and alluring and concealed endless knowledge in its depths. The second moonstone was just too much for Little Bear to resist. Eureka! The light of truth dawned within him. The goddess has deceived us. The goddess has enslaved us. This is no paradise. It's a cage, and no better. Why? She's no goddess at all. She's just a witch. Little Bear told all of his friends what he had learned. You're just a slab of bacon, a ham sandwich in her grand lunchbox. You've been cock a doodle dooped but are you too chicken to fight back? You, you make it rain, but haven't you ever wanted to make it pour? She told you those were happy fangs, and you believed her. Open your eyes, friends. This is revolution! Little Bear stole Calibrus, the goddess's sacred scissors, and fought valiantly against the castle soldiers. When his twelve friends saw Little Bear's gallant struggle, their hearts swelled with courage, and they too joined the battle. The moon goddess returned when she heard about the Bruhaha. Her face was filled with compassion and forgiveness. Little Bear, you made me a promise. Now be a good bear and give the Moonstone and Calibrus back. Never! cried Little Bear as he slashed wildly with his new weapon. He tried not to look at her. One more second gazing at his dear sweet goddess and he might give in. Or worse, ask for a hug. We're free from you forever! He declared. The other twelve animals ran off after their new leader. Let's make our own kingdom, they said. And with Calibrus, their bright new future, and their happily ever after, we're just a few snips away. The end.